And they're like, okay, but I got the plate. Yes, but you could get two kills. Okay. Yeah, very bad. Very, very, very bad here. So here you're thinking, oh, I need to recall on a cannon wave, right? Because I can see you checking it. But this is very bad. Very, very bad. Because should, they recalled. Should, should still get the plate. And yeah, the look at this. Look at this. So you take this. You see Velkos, right? Okay, I don't know if you saw him. You saw him. Like, okay, you saw him. MF is either there as well or just in base, but she just recalls. So how much time you have right now is she's there. You have 30 seconds, right? Because this is how much it takes for them to move. Yeah. So in 30 seconds, you can do a lot of things here. So when you take this plate, okay, she's there. So should I get another plate? Well, based on the position of Miss Furton, yes. I mean, what is she going to do? She's in base. Even you can get another plate and it can also in the next cannon wave. And she must Maybe if wave. you get the plate. It's, it's, so with these items, I don't know. You can't really get it too fast. It's also not a, like a huge wave. So Lulu will hit it. So I think you will get it. And then MF is going to be there. And then you recall. Because if you push another wave, wave, MF is there. And then when you recall, she stops you. So every time you see, it's a pattern. Like when I want to take a plate or an extra wave, I think, where is the enemy recurry? Can they kill me? Or can they stop my recall? And that works with the support as well. What is the support? But well, because you saw him, so it's easier. What's going on, guys? Besides here, in today's video, we're going to learn about laney phase. Laney phase, wave management, recall timings, and more will be displayed in this video. If you are an ADK main and you're not subscribed yet, you got to subscribe to the channel because this is going to help you so much to improve on ADK. And if you truly want to get better, check out my coaching session in the description, guys. Or the SS ping. And when you move, you just move like this, like really close to the, to the wall. Because you pinged like this, but you see Lulu, she didn't like understand. And then you move like this. Nice, nice movement, nice positioning. And then you start pushing. So now you want to get prior in a lane where, let's say you have a Lulu and they have Alistar. Hitting the minions once or twice, it's enough. Then you can zone. In a lane when you have a Senna and they have like a weak support like a Janna. Same thing. You get two auto attacks on the minions. Then you walk up and you zone because you want to poke and push first you want to make sure you control the wave with some minion some auto attacks on the minions the thing is in this case you have you have lulu against velcos we talked about this you do not want to win the lane necessarily you don't need to play to win the lane so what you want to do now is that you want to either perma shove or push to a point where you get control of the lane and you always have control of the lane so you don't necessarily need to walk up on them so now you're pushing good good try to dodge and you shouldn't like walk up to interact with them much. So the way you played uh, early levels is actually pretty fine. You avoided them, you dodge their poke, and you perma push. Yes, if you do this with Senna, you push it too fast. If you do it with Zerat, you need to keep it in the middle more after you get the push. If you do it with a champion that is able to poke consistently, and they have a weak champion early like a melee, or simply you play a strong champ like Zerat on support, and they have a weak champion a Janna that is weak even though she's range or an Alistar that is melee or a Leona after you hit the minions like two three times you should stop so in this case the fact that you push like this is good but I have a feeling that if I check one of uh, other game and you have a different support and you still do this it's not that good we're gonna see that it's not a mistake here so I will say that you played very well we will see if my suspicion next sessions on the other games is uh, was right or not wrong but now you basically close your eyes push the wave so you don't get poked this is very good man very good you play super well here then you go w try to go for some trades this is a window for a word let's see where you put it and then here is when you nice you put it pretty fast tribal short is good now wave is coming into you so you could always think about pushing it and getting into you but you talked how bad this is for you know against Velkos. And even though you don't know, who is the enemy jungle here? Like, they have a Nico jungle. Ah, Nico, so, okay. You should be fine here. Like, if she wants to yeah. gank you, you will see her. Like, keep pushing is, is, is very nice here. So this is good. So, for what do you play right now? Only to survive lane. Yes. And so you're basically maybe get, pushing. Yeah, and maybe get good trades when they farm. Yeah, like, you can, yeah, yeah, you can try yeah. to get good trades. Like, if you get, like, this auto attacks, like, free auto attacks on them like this because they use their ability like they use Q and now you're just trying to to go for some poke that's fine but until what point do you need to push is based on your gold so as we said ideally berserker boots so this is what you play for ideally 
ideally. Whether recoil on a cannon or not, it doesn't matter much as long as you have the item. Let's see how you play. So now if you perma push, it's good. Again, I'm repeating, if you do this and you perma push with a different support, a supporter is able to poke, you should stop from pushing and get control of the lane and zone them and poke them more and play more aggressive. Like this, like as you can see what Lulu does right now. She has a minions advantage and she's like, okay, I have more minions, they have less, I'm gonna go for poke. This is usually the best thing if you have a support that is strong and if if, if, if your matchup is you know, matchup that you can win. But in this case, so far, we don't have any red flag mistakes so far here. I just want to see you recalling at 1100 gold. Okay, so looking at the minimap, you play weak side. So you got to be very careful. So you're starting to have no word. Okay, Nico show stop. That's good. So you can still push here. Because you know where is Nico. And I just hope you're going to recall at 1100 gold. I just hope you're going you're gonna to base there. And we're going to see what you buy. Because if you buy like full damage items against the Velkos when you play Lulu when you play with Lulu it's not the most ideal thing okay 900 gold right here let's see what you're gonna do I hope you don't recall now it would be a bad recall no no, no I don't I don't recall yeah. watch the wave and go <laughs> so why, why did you stay here like I, I I thought this was a cannon wave and then seen the wave and I then see. yeah and then oh yeah. no that's a okay. shit recall <laughs> I see I see okay let's 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 clear that thing out so if you recall it takes well, okay, so now you're going to recall pretty fast. So you're going to recall in 8 seconds. And to get to the lane, you get in 30 seconds. Okay? If you recall right now, you're going to recall in 8 seconds. This wave is here. This wave from here is going to become here after you recall. When you're going to be... So when the wave first, what is MF going to do? She's going to push first. She recall, boom, she pushes. So to travel from here to there, it takes kind of like 10 to 12 seconds. So you're going to be here. You're gonna be here when the wave is in the middle. Velcos MF, they need to push the wave. That's gonna take minimum seven to ten seconds because MF is not the best push. And you're gonna be there, remember, when the wave is in the middle. Are you an AD carry main struggling to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your AD carry performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience. From Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett. Both transform into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against. For them to push, let's say seven seconds, you're already gonna be here. When they already start, where, where when they ended to push, when they ended the push. But if you want to lose the wave, the wave needs to travel from here to the tower. So that's how you. So the question here is: you recall this now? Do you have time to come back? Because uh, like I know, if I would uh, recall on this wave, I would just lose the whole uh, wave, and it's a bad okay. recall. Let's go for another another uh, situation again. So you are recalling right now? Let's see if this app works. Okay, let's see if this app works. Okay, so you're gonna recall right now when the wave is here. Okay. Yeah. It takes eight seconds for you to recall and thirty seconds to to get in base. So. Pay attention to this. So, 38 seconds. You recall, that's 8 seconds of the wave from here. In 8 seconds, it will become like here. You're in base. The wave needs to travel in the middle, right? Yeah. That's going to take how much? I think also 8 seconds. Okay. Like... So, let's say it takes 8 seconds and it's in the middle. So, you're going to be from here to like here, right? Okay. Yeah. So, you're here. The wave is in the middle. For you to lose the wave, MF needs to push. It's Velcos MF and they have no items. So the speed of which they push is not so much. So let's say it's 8 seconds. They push in 8 seconds. Okay, In 8 seconds, you're going to be here. Okay, but after they finish the push, 
this wave that they pushed, it needs to do what? It needs to go into the tower. Because it didn't go yeah. in the tower, it's here. Let's say that's another 8 seconds. <laughs> so you take the wave, it's a good recall. So what you didn't think here, and it's the key in recall timings, is the next wave position when you recall. If I recall, let's say you're here and the wave is here, and it's a not a cannon wave, don't recall because it's so close that they push it fast. Yeah. But no, it's here, it's far. You get so much time to come back in the lane. Yeah. It is more important than being a cannon wave, you see? So this was a bad plan because the most important, like now, the secret is that if you had the gold, if you had the cash, the money, the dollars for the good item, 1100 gold, yes, it would be a good recall. Why? Well, the first question that a pro player asks when he's recalling is, do I have enough gold to ideally buy my item? Let's say you have it. You don't have it now, but let's say you have it. Let's say yes. Okay. And the second question is, okay, but how is my wave? Because if you have it and your wave is like there and they will push it and you lose it, you can't recall. You can't recall. But if the wave is here and you had the money, then it's a good recall. So when I asked you, why did you stop your recall? The, the bad answer was because it wasn't a cannon wave. The good answer was, I knew that if I recall, I'm not going to lose like maybe one or two minions, which is nothing. I'm going to be able to come back in the lane because the next wave position is very far from me and it gives me lots of time to come back. But unfortunately, I didn't have the money. So I choose to actually stay for one more wave. This yeah. would be a master tier, you know, player uh, plan, let's say. No problem. So you took the right decision. It was just uh, the, the wrong plan. And it, this is the, what's nice with the coaching session is because even though you take the correct decisions, the questions will show me, okay, but next game, if this will be, you see, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Let's see. So here you can push and recall or you can just slow push this one and fast push on the next one. The problem is that if you do the slow push, then they will push. Somehow Velkos has no mana and no HP. Okay, so this changes a bit of the plan. Because you can stay now. You can stay in the lane, you don't need to recall. Because if you see, if they are full HP, full mana, you want to play for the recalls. You want to play for the recalls, you know, buy the items, play it slow. But now they are, they are fucked. I don't know how, because they didn't poke you, but they are low mana, low HP. So you want to keep them in the lane. So I hope you don't recall here. I hope now you need to know that they will try to recall soon. So you'll stop the recalls. Let's see. And you see how you play here? You see how safe you play here? Look, because this is good. Like, okay, like now. Okay, I didn't see this. Look at them right now. Look at the Velkos mana and look at the Miss Fertile. How should you shift your playstyle here? No, to play to like... If I play now aggressive and they can't recall, they miss like a lot of tears, no? Exactly. And imagine you stop the recall and you hold them in the lane. You walk up and you hold them in the lane. You're like very, very annoying for them. You will stay here for like the next 22 minutes. You won't kill them. But the MF is gonna get pushed in by Jinx. She will lose farm in the tower. She will lose the farm because you're gonna keep the wave here. Make a huge slow push, crush it in the tower. And then she will start losing the lane. You are on a weak side. So if you keep them like this, even if Nico comes, worst case, what is gonna happen? You're gonna use barrier. Uh, maybe, but that's probably not even gonna happen. If you get rooted, Velko says no mana, and MF is gonna... Well, it's MF, so she will burst you, but then she doesn't have damage. So this is a very good situation. Yes, in the first minutes, you played it nice. You played safe, slow, ooga booga, don't hit them. Nice. But now, shift your playstyle. Be like, okay, never mind. They are low. Yes, I played against this hard matchup when I pushed for my life. But somehow, Velkos has nothing. MF has nothing. Okay. Go here, Lulu. And then, go here, Jinx. Yes, don't play too aggressive because you're still weak side. We don't have info about the Nico for now. She was stopped at this 509. So at like 4, around 2, 414, the Gromp should spawn if she started bot. So there is that. So don't play too aggressive. But yeah, look, look at your clicks. You're like, oh, but I'm scared. I'm, 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 I'm going to play sa safe. Click back with Falco's mana. 
and the Miss Fortan man, what are they gonna do? Two run. <laughs> so you played very well till now. Like you played pixel perfect till now. You pushed, you know, you uh, ignore ignore them. Yeah, but now, no reason to ignore them. You can just, yeah, nice, 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 nice. I like that. But you shouldn't push because now, MF is like, what the fuck? My Velcos is low on mana. My Velcos is Uga Booga throwing abilities like an iron player on the minions. And Jinx is pushing me into the tower. Well, I get free farm. If you know you can get plates, of course you can push. But that's gonna happen if, with a huge wave, like minimum two waves, if not three. Because with one wave, it's like super hard for you to hit the tower. So this is what you should do. Slow, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep doing it. Yeah, do good. I like this. Don't push. Keep it here. Walk up. Hit them. Nice. Like now, you're like okay, but I'm still scared. No, just take any trade. Yeah, okay. You stay here. Do, do. Awesome trade. Awesome. And then force it. Boom. Tank the minions. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. I like it. So now you just were too too much like, oh, but we're going to play safe, you know? And the fact that they woke up on you right now is very crazy. It's very, very crazy. It's like, <laughs> how are they walking up on you? Even if Lulu has like one shield only, you can still win this very hard. And here you're like, oh, but you know, the coach told me that I need to play safe. It's like, Boy, we recall. You're winning now. You look at your HP. Yeah. Super important. So we needed to shift this playstyle and try to... Even here, like, don't focus on the push. You did it good. But now, since they are screwed, look at the MF HP. Look at the Velcos HP. We can play more aggressive. Nico is mid. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. How much... How many points do you have on Jinx? Not much. Not much. Uh, like, how many? Like, do you have more than like 30,000k? Or 90,000, actually. 90k, okay. Okay. So, let's take a look at this play. So, this is fine. This is the first moment where you're actually playing like a good jinx. Like here. Okay, we missed the cannon. Look, nice. You should keep walking up here. There is no reason to back up. Nice, nice, nice. Try to punish them. Yeah, punish them. Like, now, how do you play this? If, if I throw the mouse to Gumayushi, how would he play here? Like, how do you play? I would to W and uh, do the chest behind Miss Fortune to have to flash. Okay, so you do auto W and then what? Uh, the traps. Okay, so you do... So, okay, so you do auto... Or maybe, or maybe, or maybe auto... Or maybe auto, then the traps, and then watch to have a good W. Exactly. Because if you put the traps... She will flash and then you W, but if she you if you use the W and then she flashes, you can't E. Because your W is longer than your E. So pay attention to this right here. So if I'm here, of course I don't have a skin, so it doesn't look so smooth. Uh, but let's say I'm here and MF's here. Okay, let's see if we can get the exact. Okay, she's actually okay, she's really close to you. Like she's like this. So where do you think I'm gonna have my uh my uh my range for my e so okay let's see okay let's see uh okay now one two three four five if i place e max range where is he gonna go at one at two at three you can also say between two and one i think three three, like three right here four. yeah three four like right here yeah, between three and four. No, no, okay. a bit, a bit, a bit uh, more. Like, like here? No, 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 no. Here? Like, yeah, like there. Okay, let's let's see. Okay, can I hit? Can I hit it? Like, okay, max range now. Can I hit it? If I throw E on the target, do you think it hits, or do you think it's like this? Yeah, I think like it. Not. It's really close. It's close, like, it's right? It, 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 it is. It, it hits. I think. Okay, good. So. Okay, what about this one? This one doesn't no, hit, no, does no. it? This, this, this is uh, too far, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So this is like max range. And then this one is a bit crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, let me show you something. Holy fuck. This is why I came in the practice stone. And you see, it's even bigger than I thought. It's... Okay. You see? Yeah. It's huge. Of course, in a real game, you can't like, do this. You have to walk up a little bit and try to kind of put behind because they also have some charging time. But <laughs> you have a range until here right now. Yeah. So it's 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 big. It's big. So let's see. Nice. Nah. Okay. E, 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 E. 
either here or here no matter okay close your eyes and drop your e doesn't matter where you put them as long as you put them because she will panic flash here then you w and then you're just fine i mean maybe you can kill her probably not but that's the play you trap for it because now this is what i call ooga booga it's like okay what is the e what is the e what is the e okay, w okay but you want to trap yeah it, it, it never used a trap on you i don't know why but it's so important yeah yeah it's that it's like the traps it's not as important as the caitlin traps but still important then you push let's see what you do so do we have info on the jungle okay she was top lane like two minutes ago but we don't have info on the jungle try to kill them Evelyn is bought okay so now they are very diveable they're very they are one hp so what you should do is that you should ping your jungle because she's close to you he's not like she's top she's close to you so ping your jungle assistance on her head and type her dive because she won't like it's obviously good to check all the lanes at any time, but this is still not a high elo, right? Yeah. So typing can can matter a lot. Like high elo players, these people they have like 80% win rate in like Grandmaster Master. They try to type these things always. Just because it's just important to to tell her. Okay, that's good. Perfect. And then here you try to take the yeah, but I sucked at this, and then I watched on my other screen, so it was not good. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this was was, uh, was a good play or not. So, when you're taking a plate, you want to know where is the enemy... Well, usually where is the enemy jungle, but you know you see her mid lane. Where is the enemy recarry, and where is the enemy support. If you take the plate, then you might get stopped of the recall. It's a very bad thing. So, now we need to calculate if that's the thing. Okay, so now... The MF recalled. It's 603. You did not see her. 603. Let's see. You push. 603. Okay. So now from 603, she recalled. So let's see. 603. Okay. So where is MF right now? What do you think? But now she's at base. I think like in four seconds here, she's on base. So 603, she recalled. Plus eight seconds, it's 611. So she's seven seconds she left the base seven seconds ago so she's basically here okay yeah. so after you take this plate where is she gonna be medium wave and you don't have many items also the hp of the plate is very high yeah, so these are the disadvantages um yeah, to get the plate. so you try to get the plate here boom 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 so remember 603 now it's 628 so at 611 she recalled so it's 17 seconds so she's basically it's 30 seconds all 17 is basically here or like here yeah. so if you get the plate which you should because again the minions in this case won't kill the plate unfortunately it's gonna be like what so the, now it's 628 and she's there if you take the plate it's gonna be like 631 632 which is gonna be there but after you need to recall but yeah. to recall you need to get in a she will stop you because she'll be here already so was the taking the plate good um I if the, it, it wasn't good if the lulu stays because they both recall like you know this guy recalled and she recalled at 603 and not only that she recalled at 603 so she's literally in base she's like she left base two seconds ago so she's there so with this wave which is a medium wave if lulu follows it might work but it's not something reliable if you know the plate is low if you have a huge wave, if you have more HP, if you have at least items, something, Retrix, BF Sword, something, you might consider this. But when you get the plate, you need to think about one, the HP of the plate, my wave, my wave is two, and three is where is the enemy decay. If you think the enemy decay might stop you, then you shouldn't go for a plate. In this case, it wasn't a horrible decision because in terms of one, where is the enemy decay? she's in base and she's not even here or here or here she's in base she just recalled so she's now in base two you have a pretty good wave it's not like two minions or three three you saw nico top lane and you also have lulu so it's not a horrible decision but something tells me that you're doing this consistently and it's not good it's not good like you need to understand where is the enemy carry on the map when you when you take these decisions you need to look at the plate hp and now what happened now is just we didn't calculate very well the the minions damage here but i like that you're trying to do this remember that when you're trying to do this you need to know exactly where is mf because if mf is here and she is you it's gg yeah. so you gotta be very very careful with this decision recalling here is what i call a challenger recall 
I call it a challenge recall because if the if the Miss Furton is here, she can eat you. So you need to know where is it, her exactly where is her. If the yeah. Nico is here, you're dead. If the Velcos is here, you're dead. So you need to think about all of these things when you recall in the tower. This is why you're gonna see this only in Grandmaster and Challenger recalling close to the tower. It's a very smart recall, but you need to think about these things. So if you don't think about these dead timers of the enemies, if you don't think about where is the jungle, you don't do the tracking, it is safer to recall in the brush. In the brush. Or the Gumayushi recall, which is over the wall. Why here? It's because when you play here, you have this vision. So you don't see there. So you need to stay here to see there. Here to see there. So this is a, 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 a good recall. But in this case, you don't need to go here. You can go in the brush. Because you look how much time you waste again. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, fucked A. I, I'm here with my uh, Evelyn, and I, maybe maybe Nico will come here, and then uh, we then can, you can kill? kill them. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you have 1.5k gold, so if you get in a fight and you die, it's gonna be horrible. MF is in the lane close, she will push the way yeah. to take plates. So even if you get yeah. a kill, in, but if you die, it's always not worth. Really, really important. And uh, yeah, in this case, you shouldn't even, like, you should go. I should instant recall and get to base. Yeah, just shot. just in the brush or even even okay here you can recall here. It's like still, oh really safe, like really 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 safe, like really safe. And then the items, what should you get right here? As much AD as I can now. And boots, mm. boots. But I didn't buy yes. boots. That was bad. <laughs> yes, yes. So you can go. You can go tired to boots for the moment, but then a long sword and a refillable potion. Or if you really want AD, you can get normal boots and then get AD. But normal boots like, in a lane like this, when you need to dodge, is like must. You're gonna see like later on how much it, uh, it holds you back. She will push, but this is a bad push. She should slow push because you're gonna get access to all the minions. Then you stay into the tower, and now we just do the plan, which is again contest the push, try to push. Now you can start trading again. Nice. So you can you can see right now. How much the movement speed will help you to dodge these things, to walk up. Because you don't have range, you don't have, like, you need to flash, you need to... Okay, and at least you did flash E. This was played yeah. okay. You didn't use the potion super early. Yeah, like, I'm a beginner on Jinx, I don't... Like, I'm Zeri and Aphelios main, and now they both shit. And I must uh, switch uh, to Jinx. Also, I think, like, Jinx is a consistent champ. Yes, Why it yes. would never dead nerf her. It's good, it's good, it's good. This is good enough. I would, again, ping the Evelyn here to dive. I ping assistance, ping assistance, so she can get behind them. Because she probably doesn't watch bot. Yeah, she's starting Gromp. She has different missions. Oh, <laughs> God, this is very bad. Yeah, it's, you really need to start pinging. And the problem is that you're also not, not pressuring them. So what does the Velcro slash MF want to do right now? What do you want to do right now after they after this happened? Mm, In the next I, 10 I seconds. Could, I could uh, go to, uh, crash the next wave and then get Drake. Or just dive them. Yeah, okay. So just, okay, you can just dive them or, well, get Drake. But that will happen a little, rely on Evelyn following and everything. Okay, but what do, does the Velkos want to do? And, and MF? They want to get the wave and recall as much as possible. Okay, but can they get the wave? Look at Velkos right now. Yeah, that's... Um, Swatch is uh, alone. Then, like, uh, Velkos will just recall. So he needs to recall. And then MF, yeah. if she stays alone, with you together with Lulu, you can dive her, but it's gonna be... You need to play it really well, because if she, even if she has, like, barrier, she can outplay you with this HP. Lulu has ulti, but again, if this is Grandmaster, it works. But if it's not, it's a bit iffy. Um, so, they need to recall right now, Velkos needs to recall, so then, if they need to recall, why don't you walk up with the Lulu, take these minions from here, stop the recall, and ask Evelyn to come bot. Because look at your, your movement, look at your movement, like, now it's fine, because she plays aggressive, okay, okay, go, 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 double them, walk up, move in, move in, move in, Velkos is recalling, MF is recalling, tower, 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 you let them recall. Yeah, I fucked, I fucked about, uh, like, uh, crash the wave and can then uh, cancel yeah, recall. But they recall, uh, they recall, they will recall. Okay, sure, you get plates anyways, but what if you kill them and get plates? Oh, and then, and then they recall. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And they're like, okay, but I got the plate. Yes, but you could get two kills. Okay. Yeah, very bad. Very, very, very bad here. So, here, you're thinking, oh, I need to recall on a cannon wave. Right? Because I can see you checking it. Look. Yeah. 
but this is very bad very very bad because should, they should, should still get the plate and yeah look at this look at this so you take this you see Velkos, right okay i don't know if you saw him you saw him like okay you saw him mf is either there as well or just in base but she just recalls so how much time you have right now is she's there you have 30 seconds right because this is how much it takes for them to move so in 30 seconds you can do a lot of things here so when you take this plate okay she's there so should i get another plate well based on the position of miss furton yes i mean what is she gonna do she's in base yeah you can get another plate and i can also in the next cannon wave and she wants maybe to if you wave. get the plate it's, it's so with these items i don't know you can't really get it too fast it's also not a, like a huge wave so will hit it so I think you will get it and then MF is going to be there and then you recall because if you push another wave, wave, MF is there and then when you recall, she stops you. So every time you see it's a pattern like when I want to take a plate or an extra wave, I think, where is the enemy recall? Can they kill me or can they stop my recall? And that works with the support as well. Where is the support? But well, because you saw him, so it's easier. So now, yeah, look, she's there. Look at Lulu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I felt her. <laughs> and then he didn't get the wave? He didn't get the tower? And look, look, look at this. Like, use the call. And so let's see how many seconds you had more. After after the recall. Even now, like, eight seconds you wasted, like, so much. But then after the recall, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. She's in the tower right now. I think she's in the tower right now and she's gonna show. 21, 22, 23. You see how much time you had? It's so much time. You had so much time. You see this? She she waited probably like 20 gold or something. So this was like a bit exaggeration how much she stayed. I think usually like 14, 15 seconds she will stay. But there is so much lead that you could have get for free. Double kill, plates, this, that really important okay 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 so what is the rule of thumb rule of thumb is that you need to improve the recall timings and the wave management you're thinking too much about hey i need to recall on a cannon but you're not recall you're not thinking about where is the enemy the carry can i get extra plates extra stuff and when you recall you're thinking too much about hey is it a cannon wave but you're not thinking about how much gold you have to actually buy something and you're not thinking when you're recalling about the position of the wave if the wave is here and you recall on that it doesn't have to be a cannon wave it's far or here it's far they yeah you know true. that is more important than being a cannon wave this is why this is actually a reason why people are stuck because they watch these guys on the internet that they tell to recall on a cannon wave and yes pro players they recall on a cannon wave but it's it's as you can see it's not the first rule it's the third the fourth rule after the gold rule after the distance of, between the wave and and the lane rule so this is this is what the coaching is going to do to you. It's going to give you these pieces of puzzles that you don't have yet. You have like five pieces of puzzle, you need like seven. This is what we're going to do in the coaching. And it's a bit hard to find this on the internet just because you see how complex it is. Like, okay, how can I know to get the played well? You need to first know where is the enemy to carry, enemy support. You need to see the, you need to watch the plate, see how much HP it has to look at the wave how many minions do you have to get the plate then you need to see your items how fast can you get the plate all of these things matter okay so what we learned today in the session is very clear that no matter what you have in the mid game we need to fix first early and here the boots will help you a lot look when you run yeah. not here but here especially here like yeah. here it will help you so much and you don't actually lose that much damage and then we go for the full damage again if it's like you play as a you have a nautilus you're winning the lane you want to get kraken fast it's not bad like it's, i'm not saying you should always buy boots but on any mobile champion like jinx especially five dollars if you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster but you cannot afford booking coaching on my patreon you can access more than 627 vod reviews premium videos about how to wave management mid game macro and tire list that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your elo and these are not on youtube this is only on patreon they're exclusive Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium vote review. I'm giving away two free vote reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simple two-step process. Subscribe to my Patreon and share your OPGG and voila!
you are on the waiting list. You're gonna get a personalized vote review for any game in your match history. For just $5, you get not only the free vote review, but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience. It's a small investment for a big return. And it's just $5, it's no brainer, right? But here is the deal, you've got to act quickly. The waiting list is already filling up fast. 55 people already subscribed to the Patreon and there are 6 people that they already are on board, they are on the waiting list. And more are joining every moment. Now, do you want to secure your spot for a free vote review? Go ahead on my Patreon and reserve it right now.